Welcome to Babin Glass Works. My name is Ryan Babin, and I'm going to take you through making a brook trout. Here we are in a glass shop. Check out the glory hole. Over at the main furnace that holds all our molten glass. The rest of the shop. Okay, well. Here we go, starting things out. Got Lee Dupereau assisting me. We're starting out just with a blob of molten glass and blowing it out into a bubble. And getting into the colors right away. Using all glass color to get the different colors into this particular fish. Using lots of different techniques. They are blown, so we do a lot of that throughout the process. Using different tools, shaping techniques. Some traditional methods and some more sculptural in nature. And you can do quite a bit of the tooth print. We're pulling, uh, pulling out the tail and starting to apply all the bits. I have to realize this uh, video condenses three hours into about three minutes, so things are happening quite quickly. Yeah. Getting all the bits trimmed up. This is the tail fin. Looks a little messy before we get it all brought back in together. Trimmed up properly. The glass can't get below a thousand degrees Fahrenheit while we're working on it. So everything is kept hot. If it gets too cold, it'll just shatter into a million pieces. It inspires you to work quite quickly and efficiently. It takes a long time to learn how to uh, work like this in order to be able to make these kinds of pieces. Putting on some more fins here. Using the oxypropane torch. Back in the glory hole to keep things warm. Back to the bench, finish shaping it up. Using a wood paddle here to work out the final shape. Now we're breaking the piece off and putting it in the annealer. It will cool down overnight, and the next day we'll mount it, and it's done. Thanks for watching Babin Glass. See you next time.